Hi, I'm Denise Lockwood with Racine County Eye, and today we are actually going inside the Masonic Temple. And a number of people from the Racine Paranormal Investigators Group are going to be holding a presentation there on Halloween. And the reason why is because they say that the Masonic Temple is haunted. Now, and I started loading my van up. And after that, I got in my van and I didn't have the middle mirror. So I went ahead and I looked in my left side mirror, my door mirror, and I saw this tall man all in black in a tall hat walk right past my mirror from my back window area. Like, what the heck, you know? So it's 20 degrees outside. So I got out of my van and with a look and the guy was gone. There was nobody there. Henry is the man that we're on scene. There's a picture of him inside. <laughs> and Henry was a part of the Underground Railroad. He had ships that he would uh, save one ship and bring the slaves that got up to Racine to Canada. What, do we know Henry's last name? Uh, Durand, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Named after Durand Avenue, Racine Highway 11. So how do we know it's Henry? What, it was, what the, tells us this? Uh, Henry is the... This was confirmed by Wendy. The Masons bought it in 1920. Mr. Robinson left that in his will that if the Masonic bodies would buy his house and promise to keep the integrity of his family home, they could have it for half of its assessed value. So in 1920, the Masonic bodies bought it for $35,000. And then in 1922, this huge addition was put on. Wow. Because you can tell where the house stops and the addition starts. Yeah, the pirates are coming. Oh, they're here. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So who are some of these people that are photographed? Um, that lady's name is uh, Nancy George, and her family um, had this room de decorated in memory of her. In, or in honor, I can't remember which it was. What are some of these documents? This is H.S. Oh, Duran. Really cool. That is Henry S. Duran's three times great-granddaughter presented that to us, and it is his genealogy were handwritten by him, by Henry. So I'm just like, a, here it lists all the children, dates and unfortunately some of them, deaths of some of his children, um, his wives, and then up on that third one up at the very top, he lifts his three wives way up there on the back of one of the sheets. I actually have a picture of Henry over here. It seems longer than That's Henry right there. That was just gifted to us as well. And that's his wife, Caroline, right there. That was just recently gifted to us. We actually, in here, <laughs> yeah, we've had uh, numerous um, evidence of activity downstairs, upstairs, uh, the main uh, hall connecting the venue to the, to the home itself. So on a scale from 1 to 10, how, how haunted is the mansion? It's haunted. The rooms with the dollhouse, and as we all walked in, we heard this clank, and it was a sound of a little toy in the dollhouse that like fell, but nothing fell. Um, this is the guest bedroom of the house. So who stayed here? Wendy? Yeah, who actually stayed in that room? Do you know? It was a guest room, so, but the reason it's staged like it is is because of the multiple donations we get. 
We get a lot of donations of furniture. So we try to stage at least one room looking like a children's bedroom because um, we have that kind of furniture. And gifts. What I've experienced is mostly um, feelings, which turns into images. I was sitting in that desk over there, that desk right there, first time in. Uh, I was getting left-sided weakness. They were allowing, they were letting me know that's how the person had passed. When I mean they, I mean spirit. My chest. Oh, really? Yeah. It's and, the, it's, it's hers. It's that lady's face. And I was uh, feeling like, how would she get dressed in the morning? Oh, interesting. Putting her earrings on. That's the images I was getting.